these two stepper motors are synchronized. They are in the same speed and position. This motor is the leader and this is the follower. As you see we can change the speed of them. You can use them now in a lot of applications like smart conveyors. Let's see how to do that. Here is our timer 555 IC. Two ULN 2003 stepper modules. Two counters 4017 IC. Potentiometer, two 1 microfarad capacitors and resistors 1 kilo ohm. Two stepper motor unipolar. Now we will explain the main components. Here is the pinout of IC4017. Pin 16 for VCC. Pin 8 for ground. Pin 14 for clock. Pin from 1 to 7 and. From 9 to 11 are outputs pins. Pin 15 for reset counter to 0. Pin 13 ignores clock inputs. If we connect pulses to clock pin 14. The output of every output pin will generate pulses as you see in the chart. Here is ULN 2003 IC pinout. Its use for only connect the need voltage to stepper motor according for the 4017 IC outputs pulses. We will use the only first four inputs pins and will connect the socket of stepper motor here. We will connect 12 volt DC power supply here. This is our 555 timer. It used as pulses generator. If you want to know more, you will find in this video. Here is 555 timer pinout. Pins 1 ground and 8 VCC. For input power in our case 12 volt DC. Pin 4 is reset. It is activated when the voltage on it is 0 volt. Pin 3 for output pulses. Pin 5 is control voltage. This pin is used to control comparator thresholds, outputs two-thirds VCC, allows bypass capacitor connection. Pin 2 trigger. This is used for starting of timing input. When trigger voltage is less than one half control voltage sets output high and discharge open. Pin 7 discharge. This is used as open collector output to discharge timing capacitor. Pin 6 Threshold. This is used for ending of timing input. When threshold voltage is higher than control voltage sets output low and discharge low. But how does it work? When a voltage is applied to the VCC and ground pins, in our case, 12 volt, these resistors will split the voltage into 4 volt and 8 volt, with the 4 volt going to the trigger comparator. If the trigger voltage is greater than 4 volt, timing will start and the 8 volt will go to the threshold comparator. Therefore, if the threshold voltage is greater than 8 volt, timing will stop. This is our circuit. To control the duty cycle, you must control capacitor C. As you can see in this diagram, if you want to change the frequency, you can change the total resistance of resistor A plus 2 resistor B as you see in this chart if the resistance is increased the frequency will increase. Here is our circuit connection let's start to connect it. Step by step. Now we will put timer 555 and 4017 ICs. Now we will connect 12 volt DC to VCC pin 8 and ground pin 1 of timer 555. Connect reset pin 4 to positive voltage. After that connect the two capacitors long terminals to threshold pin 6 and control pin 5. And the short terminals to ground. Put the potentiometer. 
Now connect the discharge pin to positive voltage through 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. Connect the first pin of potentiometer to discharge pin 7. Now connect trigger pin 2 and threshold pin 6 to the second pin of potentiometer. The output pulses will be on pin 3. When we test it the output will appear as you see on oscilloscope. And as you see when we change the resistance using potentiometer the clock is changed. Now connect the output of timer 555 to clock pin 14 of 4017 IC. After that connect the ground pin 8 and VCC pin 16 to 12 volt DC power supply. Connect pin 15 to ground through 470 ohm resistor. Connect pin 15 to pin 10. Connect pin 13 to ground. Now we will connect 4 1 kilo ohm resistors to pins 2, 3, 4, and 7. After that connect LEDs to test the counter 4017 IC the long terminals to resistors and the short terminals to ground. Now connect your 12 volt power supply. Let's test it. As you see the output pulses is like chart. The circuit is working let's connect other components. Now we will connect ULN 2003 IC. As you see in the video. We will connect the first four inputs of ULN 2003 to 4017 IC output. Output pin 3 to input 1. Output pin 2 to input 2. Output pin 4 to input 3. Output pin 7 to input 4. Now connect your stepper motor and let's try. After that we add the second 4014 IC and connect it as the first one. After that we add the second 4014 IC and connect it as the first one. After that we add the second 4014 IC and connect it as the first one. After that we add the second 4014 IC and connect it as the first one. 